before you before you can answer though, as she's saying this, her husband comes up to the table carrying a rather large stack of paper, and she gives him a disapproving look. Honey, what have I said about doing work at the dinner table? Sarah, you know that there's a lot of this stuff I have to do, and if I don't do it now, I'll have to do even more later, honey. No, bad honey. <clears throat> yes, dear, I'll put it down. So he goes to put the stack of paper down, and two pieces drop out. They float to the floor, and you see it's a couple of old wanted posters. Very old wanted posters, in fact. So old that, well, this is clearly pre-island days old. Whis Whisper uses telekinesis to float them under the table into his hand. <laughs> yes. Now, here's the thing. Four of you, not Whisper, but the other four of you, well, you recognize the faces on those posters. Mr. Thomas and Mr. Lee. Oh. oh. <laughs> I, uh, passed, I, I passed the paper uh, over to uh, uh, Joshua. What was your character's name again? I don't, I'm playing Coon. right now. Coon. Coon. I passed the paper to Coon. Hmm. I have definitely seen these people before. <laughs> yeah, and these it's a, the, uh... yeah. He's at. He's at, He whisper. He whispers. He whispers to whisper. Gosh, dang it! <laughs> yeah, he whispers. He whispers to whisper. Gosh, dang it! <laughs> <laughs> he whispers to the silver-haired stallion. English? He tell us. I was thinking that we are still connected by that. So, what does he convey? He conveys secretively to you that we have met these people. We have fought them. Interesting. Tell me more. Uh, he bit. He. It's like okay. So, I'm trying to figure out how to best summarize our encounter with them. Can I get, get some help here? Uh, they well, tried to. They tried to kill us. And that's at the point where you, once they mentioned that uh, whisper, you realize that these are the people that had tried to uh, frame the red. These are the two that had. He had tried to frame the Red Tigers, who had been in the employ of Mr. White. Hmm. I don't think I was part of that session. No, that no, was. No, you have not. That's why we were explaining uh, it to you. Uh, okay. Uh, you know about it from being told. <laughs> so, in any case, as I said, the Ethereum family is very interested in an update on what have you all been up to, how you all met, etc., etc. Yes. <laughs> ah, well, that's Kun and Whisper for starters. Hello. Whisper waves. <laughs> and yes, they are red tigers in the employ of Khan. Just, you know, you're trying to call him King Khan, just... <laughs> <laughs> His Royal Majesty Khan? Or Lord He's Khan. Like saying King twice. Or like Lord Khan. <laughs> Wait, is well, it actually Khan? actually to to be fair, it is own it would probably be the Red Tigers who refer to him as King, while the Golden Lions would still call him Prince Khan. After all, they do not officially recognize him as King. Hmm. King Kong. <laughs> like the gorilla. Yeah. Yeah, that's what goes through my head every time I try and say it. And then I have to manually in my head go, no, not King Kong, King Kong. 
I mean, you are at an island. Oh my god, did I just write King Kong's origin story? No, we know what's gonna happen in the final session. Thanks! <laughs> anyway, continuing on. Yes. Um, Kun, we met uh, during the investigation into the disappearance of the research team in the. It was the Southern Forest, wasn't it? Indeed. Yeah. South southeastern forest to be precise. Yeah, but it's easier just to say the southern forests or Fair jungles, <laughs> uh, which is also when we ran into and met Vel. I'm not going into that story. Um, after that is when we ran into. A couple of very interesting individuals who decided that they were going to try and kill us all and frame it on the Red Tigers. That was fun. Actually, that kind of was fun. Did you uh, break? <laughs> now, at this point, the, the mother leans and says, Did you shatter their kneecaps? Not quite, but I definitely roasted them. Disappointed, but it'll do. Are they still alive? As far as we know. Yeah, we'll right now. Uh, right. e? <laughs> so, was that Ari? No, I said I was back. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, Ash was um, giving a recap of what happened when he mentioned about how the. Uh, two, how the two people tried to kill him tried to kill them, uh, yeah, Sarah got protectively absolutely livid. Yeah. We did stab them a few times in order to make sure that they lost a significant amount, and a tolerable amount of blood. Also not oh, to excellent. mention, it, also not to mention perhaps baking their insides with electrocution. <laughs> uh, it was fun to watch them twitch. Oh, excellent, oh. well done. Excellent, well done, son. <laughs> How is Cass to be the most bloodthirsty thirsty pacifists? <laughs> yes. Yeah. They had. They tried to threaten my sons. Pacifism doesn't apply in those scenarios. Well, I, I, I see. You do not. I see pacifism as do not instigate a fight, but defend thyself and what they, they you love. Quite right. Quite right. Besides, our son is in the military and we have never objected to that, though I do always worry about you, my dear. I know. <laughs> and no. what about you? Sorry. Oh, I was just gonna say, don't worry, I haven't gotten myself killed yet. Well, of course. We haven't Wish killed I... you for getting yourself Of course, if you had, we would have killed you for getting yourself killed. <laughs> Wish I could worry, say the I'm same. Just looking after him. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. I know that you're not, that I understand that you and my son are really dating, but given your, uh, what's the word, what's the polite term I'm looking for here, uh, shall we say, rejection of life? Rejection of life. I'm worried that might be a bit of a bad influence on my children, I'd rather not to be dead. I don't really have much control over it, ma'am. Oh, so it wasn't, so this wasn't intentional? No, uh, okay. the thing be sure. is... Oh good, had to be sure. You get all types around here. You were saying? Uh, <laughs> I, I was burned alive in a fire about 20 years ago, and, uh, I was only reawoken fully recently. I woke up from time to time. Uh, but I did sort of save your sons both of their lives uh, a couple of times upon beating them. So, I just happened to like them. She's not seem... the spectral knight that cleaved the snake in twain. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yes, you actually so the two of them are actually more somber and sympathetic, especially when they meant how you were burned alive. They may be eccentric, but <clears throat> they have enough empathy to know that that is a horrific way to die. Thank you for looking. Thank you for looking after my children. 
Um, well, says. thank the I thank the little one for providing me with a nice cozy uh, duplex. <laughs> thank you, son. Thank you. Excellent job on being a good host. <laughs> Is she paying? And Klaus just Is she paying? Is really she paying? Afraid, like... Are you making sure she pays her rent properly? I mean, she is kind of protecting our lives. I'd say that's uh, rent enough. Ex excellent. <laughs> <laughs> so I just have like a lot of so passe about being possessed. <laughs> <laughs> Whisper yeah. calls for more wine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? They expect. Apparently, they were expecting this. Because you get a barrel <laughs> <laughs> with a straw. <laughs> Please let it be a bendy straw. Uh, yes, whispered, yes, that's what I was thinking. Whisper, whisper instructs his butler to pour him a glass. <laughs> so you see the butler tr trying to ex basically using the bendy straw to get the wine into the glass. <laughs> Whisper kind of waits patiently and kind of ignores and struggling while that happens. Anyway, so unless there is something specific that you guys wish to say, ask, or do, I believe it would be appropriate to let time pass. Yep. Um, depends. Has, I'm assuming that everyone has seen the... Uh ancient wanted posters they have all seen it but if that is but do you guys wish to speak about it and discuss it yeah i'm bringing it up of course go ahead um so father you dropped a couple of your um papers when you were trying to put them down oh yes God, I've been going through a lot of documents from the old days. Gonna make sure they're sorted out at highs. We, uh, unfortunately, were doing some renovations in the upper floor. We had, to, so we're moving the library to a new area now. And well, things got a bit mixed up when during the transfer. I'm gonna be at this for weeks. But yes, uh. Anything you uh, you're looking for? Anything specific there, or something? Or oh yes, those posters. Uh, anything interesting? How old are these posters exactly? I mean, I know that they're from before the um, well, before the island. But how old are they beyond that? Hmm. Let me see here. All right. Uh, he 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 holds his hand out for the papers yeah which all right he looks over he starts muttering a few words he starts muttering to himself all right so we keep that in mind it was mentioning that event uh, fortunately they didn't quite date it as well in those days that they do these days but in cross reference to i'd say this was about a uh, year or two a year or two, give or take, before the uh, first boats went out. From went out. Okay, because that's interesting. Because um, those two people that we mentioned that tried to kill us, they was they weren't zombies, were they, or ghosts, or something like that? They bled. Hmm. <clears throat> Do you think this would be relevant information to? Sh Do you think this would be relevant information to share with King? To share with King Horus? Hold on a second. They were covered in machinery. Mr. White and Mr. Lee. Mr. Thomas and Mr. Lee. Mr. Thomas and Mr. Lee. They were covered in machinery. Yes. And these posters are from before. Well, I'm just going to call it the Collapse for the time being, because that's just easier to call it. All of a sudden, your father jumps up and runs away. Dad... <laughs> to be, oh, to be no. fair, that's the least strange thing he's done today. <laughs> oh, jump, jump, don't mind my husband. 
You know how he gets when he has an idea. He'll be back shortly. Yeah, I'm wondering whether it's along the same track as my own. <laughs> well, what is well, what is this track of yours? Please continue, son. I'm quite interested. Okay, so ignoring the whole zombie ghost thing. <laughs> These people, or at least a simulacrum of them, have been around now for, what, a good three centuries or so, in theory. So, in theory, it's possible that what we were actually fighting was either, as I said, a simulacrum of the original people, or we're dealing with someone who's capable of utilizing or combining both machinery and biological matter. Uh, you saw those posters, right? And yes, you do. Yeah. Uh, can I have a look at them? Yeah. All right. Uh, petty uh, petty assault, uh, count of assault, petty Petty theft, uh... Son, these don't look like they're exactly, uh... Important people, they... Heck, the bounty on them is on... Uh, let me just think, uh, if I carry the Y... The bounty on them is pretty small, too. They don't seem like they were... Big-time players, so if your theory is correct... Why these people? I mean... Bring... I mean, a simulacrum of, say... Our glorious King Horus, may he, may he, may his reign be long, seems, would make sense, but why would you, if you had that kind of power, that kind of ability, why use it to uh, revive or clone or copy or extend the life of a couple of petty crooks? They were criminals, yes. The, uh, yeah, yeah, we've got a water poster of them. Precisely. And if you were looking at creating a simulacrum of someone or fusing, for likes of better words, man and machine, what would be your best test subjects? Criminals on oh. death row. Horrific insightful so um your uh, dad has now returned he's also carrying a pack of paper honey no please this might actually help our children very well uh Coram, you said machinery yes yes could you describe it for me please but right now you're gonna have to describe it for yourself <laughs> All right, so yeah, you give a description. Uh, you give your description, and he starts flicking through his notes. No, maybe uh, okay. Uh, son, it's ringing a bell for me. I think one of the old. I remember doing some sort of uh, paper on it a, a while back, actually. A bit of a study of old history. It, I know it was something going on uh, back in the old days that. It does sound very familiar to you, but hmm, there's nothing here. Uh, would you mind if I got back to you on this? It might take me a while to find what I'm looking for. Of course. Thank you. Uh, by the way, I thought what I said. Uh, do you think that's something we should let the king know? Mm, maybe we should wait until we've got more to give them other than well, what we just said. I suppose that's right. Uh, son, what do you think? I would hold off until we have more definitive information about this. Of course. At the I moment, burn the in theory. Of course, I will burn the midnight oil until I have the answers, and I will help. Just don't overdo it. <laughs> no promises are to be made. <laughs> I don't think... Uh, is overdoing it really in their vocabulary? They seem to just... That just seems to be their normal thing. You should see them after about a week of no sleep. Uh, what? <laughs> hey, uh, make, hey, Ari, make a will save versus fear. <laughs> what? 
I'm kidding. Well, I can do it. It's fine. No, I'm not actually asking you to make the role. I'm just saying that for the, for the comedy of it. 